Welcome to Falcon 4 BMS. For more information on the title you can uh, read up uh, information I've put into the description also with some links on the uh, development of Falcon and Falcon 4 BMS. For now the important thing to uh, remember is this is kind of the first of the study sims. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going through the tutorials that are actually uh, labeled as tactical engagements I believe. But essentially they are tutorials. The first one is tutorial zero, the ramp start, which is uh, at its basic level starting from a cold and dark start and uh, at its more advanced level you cold start it and then taxi take off, navigate back to the airfield and land and in this case uh, taxi back to the hangar and shut down. That's got wanna be that's gonna be what we're gonna do today. So we're looking at the uh, map as you can tell. Easy to move around, the obvious dragging the map around, zooming in and out. You can see we start at Kunsan Air Base in South Korea. And we have uh, little points around here, two, three, four, five that are obvious. If you can't see the uh, mouse pointer, that's because my capture software does not like to capture pointers. So I'll have to do my best to get around that. But uh, of these uh, waypoints, these are actually called steer points. And I'll refer to them as steer points from here on to avoid any confusion. Uh, the steer points that we need to look at are two, three, four, five, and six. And first off, if we look to the left, I am flight lead. Uh, I'd rather be in a position to be second in that. So I'm going to swap to be from one, I will be two. I think our call signs, I have to look it up. I'll look at the brief. All right, listen up. Uh, I should say, yeah, our call sign is Python 1, uh, so I'm going to be Python 1, 2. And you can see the steer points listed, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the flight plan. So we start at steer point 1, which is take off and concern. First one we're to consider is steer point two, which is north of Kunsan. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about uh, the formation or action. All we need to do, all we need to concentrate really on, is looking at altitude really more than anything else. We should be climbing to 4,500 feet on takeoff. 345 knots is about what I'm aiming for. Uh, steer point three. Uh, we climb to 14,000 and we turn south to steer point 4. Uh, again, list this SB 314,000. Turn east to steer point 5. It's not 14,000. And finally, steer point 6 is Concern Air Base itself. We will be landing. There is a steer point 7, but that's the alternate landing strip. We don't need to concern ourselves with that. So it's Flight to the north, west, south, east, about around steer point five, I will request permission to land. If you look at this uh, log altitude plot, it shows that we're climbing at 4,000 at steer point two, three, four, five at 14,000, and then landing back at Kunsan. And that's the basis of, or the basics of that mission. Now we're going to look at the data transfer cartridge, you can see it's the um, second from bottom icon on the right. Now we don't need to concern ourselves with targets, EWS or modes at this time, we only need to look at comms, which of course short for communications. Now as I, I believe that uh, presets 1 to 14 are reserved or used by Falcon Pro, so I'm going to go to Preset 15. And what I need to do here is set tower. 
and that set, sets preset 15 to the frequency 292.3 I've already made it default there you can see the, uh, the default uh, button is checked so I'll make sure to save that now what the data cartridge is if you imagine a, an old school games console and you have the game on the cartridge and then you put the cartridge into the uh, console so the game goes from the, the, the cartridge and loads into the console that's essentially what the data cartridge is it allows us to quickly and easily get uh, mission information into the aircraft that I'm going to manually input in so have a look at the loadout as you can see we're completely clean no weapons or anything um, we are carrying a full load of fuel which you don't need but I'm going to leave it as that for simplicity's sake clean weight of the aircraft is 2,000 or 20,000 pounds the weight with fuel takes it to 26,000 now that's important the weight of the aircraft is important when you come to calculating your speed the takeoff speed for that uh, weight is about it's, I think it's 150 knots um, we'll be approaching at 160 knots come out of that and I think that covers everything at this point so what we're going to do next is we're going to take off and make sure that we start on the ramp which is the first option. Hey welcome to Concern Airbase in the F-16 Block 50 Stroke 52. First thing I should mention this is a working airbase so there are aircraft taxiing, taking off and landing. Also I'm using track AO but I have it disabled for startup for the purposes of this video because it should make things clearer again um, unfortunately the mouse pointer will not show up uh, using this uh, capture software what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through kind of an abbreviated checklist there are things I'm going to miss out simply because uh, I know this is a pristine aircraft everything works as it should be I know what controls are set properly to begin with so I can skip those steps. So I'm using the 3D mode which, which you can reach by pressing the 3 uh, key on your keyboard. I'm going to be navigating around the, the screen with the uh, numeric keypad keys 8, 4, 6 and 2. Uh, which of course have corresponding arrows so I'm going to use 4 to move left, 2 to move down etc. First thing I'm going to look at is the manual TF fly up switch, right mouse click that to enable it engine feed norm, engine feed knob to norm look down for the master light switch set that also to norm, I'm going to turn the volume the radios, COM1 MAX, COM2, MAX and the UFA, UHF knob to both which I think gives you access to the guard channel which will probably come in handy at some point in the future. Uh, parking brakes at the anti-skid. The cryptic name for that. And uh, a tricky one here is the air source knob. Took me a long time to find this when I originally started looking at uh, Falcon 4. If you look at uh, the control labeled Temp Auto, to the right of that is the air source knob. We can't see it because that big uh, thing is in front of it we can see, I mean you can actually click left click um, when the icon pops up even though you can't see it but we can see it using the 2D mode and 6 move across a couple of times 2 I think 3 times and there you can see the air source knob click that onto norm back to 3D mode and that really concludes the uh, cockpit interior check, we'll go over to the before starting engine checklist now I'm going to skip a step here which is main power, normally you would switch main power to bat and do some tests and you're just going to go straight to main power because again I know that it works properly, although you can do the test if you like to do again you look into the checklist for information on that uh, also going to turn the lights on at this point 
signs of collision, position lights, wingtail, fuselage, turn all those on and now we're ready to start the engine. We'll look at uh, the jet fuel, we'll switch it to start to it near it spool up. Some warning lights on there will turn off if you look at the RPM. Starting to come up. It's going to cycle the throttle back and forth a little bit. I think that brings out idle detent, I'm, so I'm told. I'm not sure about that. It's a bit, uh, a bit hard at times, throttle. Um, here now it's up to 25%. Um, just actually wait for the, the other sec caution light is off. Still have the Alexis um, light on, but it'll, the uh, sec has gone off. So we need to trigger the cutoff release. If you look at the get there, the throttle. If you, there's a kind of a trigger at, towards the top, click that. Now we've got uh, throttle advance to about 20%. Now, uh, let's edge it up a little bit. Keep edging it up until it uh, kicks in. It's not like it's moving. Maybe we didn't have the throttle advance enough, so I'll try it again. And it now starts to move. A bit of a stumble there, but uh, let's watch the uh, fuel flow start to come up. As soon as that comes up, then we'll bring the throttle back to zero. And there you go. So the warning lights are out. So the canopy. I'm going to turn off the master caution light. If this switch should be off, which it is, jet fuel switch is off. Uh, the hydraulics and oil pressure warning light is off. Fuel pressure is good at 500, it's actually just about 850, so that's good. Uh, oil pressure 50 psi minimum. That's the top gauge, and we're about 40, well, about 45. Nose position greater than 80%. You can see nose pose position open and it's about 95%. RPM 65 to 77%, yeah. And FTIT 625 Celsius or less. Yeah, it's about just under 500. And the hydraulics AMB, find it both roughly around the 12 o'clock position which is good so after engine start now we can set up the uh, avionics first thing I'll do is I'll start the alignment process in INS so I'll click that to norm that will take about 10 minutes to align I believe so I then switch all these the rest of these avionic uh, options on Forward, we'll look for the FCR switch, select that on, turn radar alt from standby up to, up to radar alt. Alt radar put on barrel. We don't need uh, radar altimeter at the moment. I want to make sure that uh, the altitude information we get from the hood is the same as um, we're getting from uh, the uh, vectors we're getting from air traffic control. And uh, see the aircraft starting to come to life. The DED, the data entry uh, display on the right, has, has, has come up. <coughs> That's uh, far from being ready. If you look at the hood, the hood is blank at the moment. Uh, below the uh, 
the numbered keys below the hood you can see SYM we're going to use that uh, thumb wheel to light up the uh, heads up display and we're going to uh, tune CNI from backup to UFC Now everything's still coming up, the MFDs are still coming up. Minus. Yeah, it's ready actually, but uh, what we're going to do here, sake of completeness, switch the digital back to on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle the controls, and it's important for me to do it just to make sure the rudder more than anything else is working correctly. I might as well put that into the starter procedure. Everything seems to be working as expected, so then switch digital back up to off. Okay, <coughs> now we uh, continue setting on. <coughs> Left MFDs are almost ready to uh, begin to play. At this point I'll bring the canopy down. A bit awkward to hit this one I find, but yeah, first time. At least I've done that right. <coughs> <coughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the uh, data cartridge. What I'm going to do, if you look on the along the bottom of the left MFD, you've got an option, second to the right FCR, press that one. On the right, the middle option, DTE, select that one, and along the top, middle option along the top, load. Press that, it cycles through the options as it's loading the data cartridge. So now we have ATC. Now I'm going to get Q and H so I can set the, or so that I can align the altitude, the analog altitude instrument. And I do that by pressing T to bring up attack commands. Press it again. And one for request CNH. Python 1, Kunasan approach 3060. 3060. Angel 11, descend. <coughs> Unfortunately, I've had to restart this. Uh, knots, so I'm now Python 11 one, one, instead of Python 12, one, one, unfortunately. Sting 12. So I have to bear that in mind. Right, so 3060. So that is set as it should be. Um, and now we're going to set uh, INS to nav. Get this right. So we set it to nav. That's an important step. So we're all set up, ready to go. The only uh, Good warning is that we've got now is the seat. We've got the, uh, the canopy down. So before taxi checklist is now complete. Last thing I'm going to do is to get uh, taxi clearance. Is five. Python one one, ready for departure. Python one one, Kunsan Tower, taxi in sequence. You are number nine for departure. Taxi runway one eight. Okay, so we're going to runway one eight. One two, descend to. Bring up tower again, and eight for remove wheel chucks. 
turn left Python. One one. Copy. So we'll chuck her off. Now at this point we are going to run with one eight. Now you need to really be looking at your airport diagram. Uh, from what I can see, I think we are some distance from the runway. Um, I'll explain that in detail as we uh, as we move off. So I'm going to take off the parking brake, right click that to off. Starting to roll because we're light, so using the wheel brakes to slow us down. It will move even without power. So first thing we'll do here is apply nose wheel steering. If you look to the right of the hood. A light will appear with NWS, and there you go. Now we've nose wheel steering, so we'll steer with the rudder pedals. Um, parking brakes off. Sting, Just gonna have to uh, arm the seat. If I can hit it, there you go. The seat Cold is now armed. And we're ready to go. <coughs> now what is it going to happen now is I'm going to be looking for just re-enable I will re-enable as you saw there, re-enable the track AR We're looking good here but I believe we are some distance away from the runway so we're looking for taxiway Foxtrot Hopefully this is going to be run, run with uh, taxiway Foxtrot. Let's give him taxiway F. Viper, one, one, orbit for spacing. A feeling that we need to go down that way. Orbit for spacing. Viper, 1-3, orbit for spacing. It's put me in an unusual position, so this may go terribly wrong. Well, that's the tower, so yeah, I think this is the right way to go. We should have taxi with Charlie ahead. Angel. So the control tower to the left, so straight ahead should be taxi with Charlie. One one, turn left to final approach course one seven five. Slow to approach speed. We're taking off from taxi one eight, so we need to turn right onto taxi with Charlie. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Go a bit too fast. Slow it down. A bit of brakes. Angel, one two, descend to three thousand. Maintain two seven zero knots. Turn left, Slow heading down. two nine or five. Vectors to final runway one eight. That's good confirmation that one eight is in use. Viper, oh. one one, maintain two five zero knots. Turn right, heading zero two five. Vectors to final we got in runway front of us here. Good morning, Lightning 13, Kunsan Tower. I think, yeah. I'm going to turn to the right. I think this is Taxi with Charlie. Again, it's a bit unfamiliar, this one. I've never come down this route before. This looks like where I need to be. Viper, that was pretty two, solid. Turn right, heading three three zero. Vectors to final runway one eight. This is a bit of an adventure. Four, but it shows the importance zero, of having a heading, zero, copy one, of the five, airport diagram in front of you. Okay, I'm looking for taxiway Echo. Off to the left. Good morning. Angel, 1-1, one, one, Kunsan Tower, cleared for landing, runway 1-8. That's a very big down. aircraft coming out. I want to say that it's a C-130, but I think it's a C-something else. Slow it down again. It's getting away from me a little bit. Taxiway Delta. Is it a star lifter or something like that? I can't remember. A bit of brake just to slow it down. We're just going a bit too fast. I 
Because it's a summer's day, so it is bright and clear. A lot of sun. Slow, slow, slow. Claw, one, one, cool and power. Clear Getting off the departure. center line a bit too much. Okay, now it's important here to follow this, uh, follow this line across. And here we are at Echo. Slow it down again. And there you go. At this point we don't have takeoff clearance so we're going to hold short. See those lines there that are telling us to stop? Just about made it. Viper 1-1, one, one, descend to 3,000. At this point I'm just going to change to steer point 2 on the display. Let's look at the bottom right, eight. 005 more than 02, so that's, uh, we're 5 miles away from steer point 2. So, um, Viper, listening out for Python 1-1 one, one as our call right sign, of course. Three, four, zero. Vectors to final, runway one, eight. One, four, and looking through the full takeoff checklist. Waiting for clearance. <coughs> What we're doing here is getting onto the center line, braking, bringing power up to uh, about 90%, I think, and then uh, easing off the brakes, start the roll, full afterburner, keeping on center line, just as we approach 70 knots, uh, disengage nose wheel steering, 150 knots, then I will just start to pull back on the stick, bringing the crosshairs onto the 10 degrees of pitch up ladder. If you look at the dotted lines across the centre of the hood there with five on either side, that's five degrees of pitch down and below that is 10 degrees of pitch down. A solid line means uh, pitch up. And if you look the, the the cross under no rad, that's the, the gun sight cross, will bring that gr gently up to about 10 degrees of nose up. And then the aircraft should just basically take off, just fly up off the uh, runway. Angel, one, seven, two, final. And then it's Angel, off the one, runway two, gear up. Left final and we'll one, need to seven, fly five, course check. to the left. Turn to the left to, to one, one. Maintain two, two, zero, stop moving left. north Turn left, heading towards steer two, point seven, two. Zero. Claw, one, one, hold and a short. bit of a line behind us. Python, one, one, Kuhn, Sound Tower, you are cleared for takeoff, runway one, eight. Python, one, one, hold short. Claw, it's, one, two, just, hold short. You just told me to Python, take off. one, two, hold short. Nightmare, one, two, hold short. Nightmare, 1-1, one, one, Kuhn-San Tower, clear for departure. Well, Nightmare, you know... Nightmare, 1-1, hold short. Viper, 1-3, maintain 2 5 0 That is, uh... Turn left heading, 3-3-5. Air Vectors traffic control final, sometimes. I thought it was a bit morning, ambitious, but... Good morning, Lightning, 1-4, uh, Kuhn-San Tower, cleared for landing, runway 1-8, check gear down. We should be ready to go. F-35, I believe. Turn left heading zero one five. Vectors to final runway one eight. So there's another one behind that. Viper one two on final. Viper one two. Turn right to final approach course one seven five. Check approach speed. Good morning, Angel one two. Kuhn San Tower cleared for landing runway one eight. Check gear down. Viper one three descend to two thousand maintain two zero zero knots turn right heading three two five 
Good morning, Viper 11, Kunshan Tower. Cleared for landing, runway 18. Check gear down. You can be stuck here for a little while. Four, descend to 3000. Maintain 340 knots. Turn left heading 325. As I say, that sky looks particularly Viper, convincing. On final. Some of the takes of the aircraft are a little bit uh, rough. Turn left to final approach course 175. Check approach speed. But it's not bad given the fact that the title is about 17 years old, at least the original. Hopefully these are going to be the last two that we have to wait for. And I'm hoping these weather conditions are going to hold up. Viper 1-4, descend to 2000, maintain 230 knots. Can quickly turn, turn uh, from blue skies to real overcast. Final, runway 18. Python 1-1, one, one, Kunsan Tower, you are cleared for takeoff, runway 18. You know what, I'm going to go anyway. Python 1-1, one, one, hold short. Sorry, I'm going to go. Viper 1-2, Kunsan Tower. Cleared for landing, runway 18, check gear down. Python 12, hold short. I'm gonna go because we're gonna be here all day otherwise. Python 11, Kunsan Tower, you are cleared for takeoff, runway 18. Good morning, Viper 1-3, Kunsan Tower, speed cleared up. for landing, runway 18, check gear down. Now uh, if we start rolling. Had to push in a little bit there, otherwise we would have been there all day. And uh, max speed, nose one steering off. Let's get it to 150. And just ease it back. Get the crosshairs up to 10 degrees, and up we go. Gear up. A bit naughty pushing ahead of the aircraft coming to land, but not something I'd recommend, but I don't think you'd be all that keen on waiting around that length of time. Now we're looking for the tadpole, which is the circle with the uh, line coming out behind it in this instance. Pull back on the power a little bit. Just disappear over the top of the hood. Now that circle with the line to the, to the left and behind it says that uh, the steer point is Good morning, One a lot of pitch up actually and bring it into it don't need to be giving it quite so much pitch up bring the power down a bit see that circle with the, the arrow the, or the line coming out from behind it to the left that tells us the steer point is uh, Behind us, or to and to our left, it's coming around now. Five degrees of pitch up. Nightmare one three, hold short. It's not quite a distance there. If you Nightmare look at the MFD, the right MFD, that uh, actually the uh, Nightmare oh, one it's not good. Hold short. Going through clouds. Nightmare one. So for a wait at the moment, that. Uh, Get the speed right Viper down. One four, abort landing. Vector two six zero. It's coming around but slowly. Almost at our assigned altitude. I think if we would have waited on the uh, taxi, we would still be waiting there now, actually. But uh, <coughs> it's not an advisable thing to do. <coughs> Could very easily have gone wrong. <coughs> Can't just yeah, we've got enough climb now. Got enough altitude, should I say? Let's bring that down. So we're onto that level. You look at the uh, circle with the lines coming out left and right. That's a flight path marker. Getting a little bit of turbulence there. And the wings are level with that solid line. Eight miles away from steer point two. Let's try to keep it straight and level as best we can. I'm descending a bit, but I don't want to go down too quickly. Overcome. 
coming round for the nose up a little bit. Now we're coming around to be on top of it. We are four miles away from it. And it's just pretty much ahead of us there. Let's get it straight on level. Let's get the... Uh, well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go to steer point three, which is off to our off to our right. So we can turn this altitude. It's quite a distance off to our right. So we've gone straight through that. Pretty quick. Let's just bring that power down. Let's get down to a more reasonable speed. Three miles from steer point. Four. Five first one four. Descend. Switch to steer point four. Turn right heading 080. Vectors to final runway 1. Getting our navigation a bit messed up here. 2 in position. It's going a little bit too quick, I think. It's late miles away from that, so we've got time to get it turned around for steer point 4. Seven miles from steer point 4. And maintain sort of altitude of 14,000. And its steer point is coming around. There you go. Five, four miles short of steer point four. Turn right, final approach course, 175. Check approach speed. And soon we'll be switching to steer point five. There we go, steer point five, eight miles away, a little bit to the left. Nightmare 1-3, orbit for spacing. Bring the power back a little bit more. Nightmare 1-4, If you look at the RPM, it's uh, Nightmare around one where it one. needs to be. Maintain 2-0-0 knots. Turn left heading 2-6-0. Vectors to final. A little bit left. Eight. Five miles away from steer point five. At that point, we'll start getting in touch with uh, ATC. Nightmare, one, two, maintain Three miles two, away. Five, zero, nine. Turn left heading two, seven, zero. Vectors to I'm like a mile away, one, I will call up ATC. We're pretty much on top of it now. To request landing. Python, one, one, orbit for station. Python, one, one, descend to. 3000, maintain 210 knots, turn left heading 005, vectors to final, runway 18. 005. Python, 11, maintain 210 knots, turn left heading 355. 355. Python, 12, orbit for spacing. Python, 13, orbit for spacing. Python, 14, orbit for spacing. I know. I'm descending, 355. Turn left heading, 350. 350. Nightmare, 1-1, one, one, on final. Nightmare, 1-1, one, one, turn left to final approach course, 175. Speed down. Check approach speed. Let's get down to 3000, so Python, we've got one, one, 5 degrees of pitch down. Nightmare, 1-3, maintain 250 knots. Turn left heading two nine or zero. It's so under three hundred. I can put the gear down. Start putting the speed brake down. Nightmare one four. Maintain two five zero knots. Turn right heading three zero. I get a approach speed of one six zero. Final runway one eight. I'm using a flight path marker to allow myself up onto the end of the runway. Descend to three thousand. Maintain two zero zero knots. Python one two. Maintain two five zero knots. 
turn left heading 005. Vectors to final, runway 18. We get out of 3000. Python 11, maintain 200 knots. Turn left heading 345. Python 13, turn left heading 010. Vectors to final, runway 18. Python 11, Kunasan approach, traffic 4 o'clock, 3 yep. miles. Can see that. Python one one maintain two zero zero knots. Turn left heading two seven zero. Vectors to final runway one eight. Python one four maintain two five zero knots. Yeah, it was me two Turn seven left zero. heading zero two zero. Vectors to final runway one eight. Good morning. Well, it's getting a bit overcast there. One one Kun Tower cleared for landing runway one eight. Check gear down. Python 11, turn left heading 230. 230. Nightmare 12, descend to 2000, maintain 250 knots. Vectors to final, runway 18. Nightmare 12, on final. Python 11, maintain 200 knots. Turn left heading 200. Good morning, Cobra really 1, quick. Kunasan approach 3, runway 18. Nightmare 13, maintain 250 knots. Turn left heading 235. Everything's looking Vectors pretty good so far. Runway 18. Moving a bit slower. Python 11, maintain 200 knots. Turn left heading 165. Vector 65. Runway 18. Nightmare 14, maintain 400 knots. Turn That's left be heading 260. Interesting, trying Vectors to bring it down final, there. Runway 18. Python 11, maintain 200 knots. Turn left heading 115. Python 11, turn left to final approach course 175. Slow to approach speed. Nightmare 13, on final. I need to think about getting the flight pop mark on the threshold of the runway. Slow to approach speed. To get the gear down. One three orbit for spacing. Nightmare one two execute missed approach clearance cancelled contact approach for resequencing. Getting under three hundred. One four orbit for spacing. Put this speed break down. One three, maintain maximum forward speed. Let me get the Turn flight left, path marker. Need to be going a lot slower than that 160. So starting to get down to the speed of one. The so flight path marker on the threshold of the runway. Looking for 160. A bit low. Descending a bit too quick. Just to get that flight there. Yeah, that's about right. If you look at the bracket on the bottom of the. Uh, Hood, we're Nightmare looking towards the top four. third of that, uh, so we're Nightmare a little bit higher than one. That should Turn come down. We cross the threshold, cut the park completely, pull the flat buff marker to the end of the runway. Getting there, just a little bit left. A little bit left. Python one four descend to speed is three thousand decent. maintain maximum forward speed Turn left. Turn left heading three two zero vectors to power five. right down flat the marker up. Good morning, Python bit one one untidy but power cleared for landing runway one bit of aero braking nose down nightmare one and two. start the brake for spacing. Gently easing the brakes on. One two, maintain two five zero nine. Bring on to Turn slow. Right heading, three six zero. Vectors to final. Runway one eight. Slow it down. Python and we're right on the back of that aircraft two, there. Turn Nose wheel right steering two, on. Six, zero. And let's start uh, one, four, looking for an exit. Landing. Contact departure. A little bit of power to speed up a little bit. Heading three two five vectors to final runway one eight. Not the best landing. Good morning, Python one two Kunsan Tower cleared for landing runway one eight. Check gear down. Python again. Python one three turn left to final approach course one seven five slow to approach speed. Python, We're off the runway. Maintain two five zero knots. 
turn left heading 265. Python oh, 1 1. Clear runway, incoming traffic. Uh, Tom cleared the runway. Cobra 1 3. Turn left heading 350. Vector uh, final, runway 1 8. Nightmare 1 2. Descend to 3000. Maintain 350 knots. Turn right heading 0. Oh, so we can shoot it down. Cobra 1 2. Maintain 200 knots. Turn left heading 360. Vectors to final. Runway 18. Can always park it up in one of these, I suppose. Rather than an actual hangar. Python 1 4. Turn left to final oh, approach no, course. Can't one that seven one. Five. Slow to approach speed. Should be us coming up here. Good morning. Python 1 3. Kun San. And that will do. Landing. Runway 18. Check gear down. We're at a stop, so we are alive, which is the main thing. A little bit untidy, but that is certainly a reasonable end to that. Okay, now after we've landed, we are going to close the speed brakes. Nightmare, Just one two. Turn right to final approach course. One seven five. Disable. Approach speed. Tracker again. Good morning, Python. One four. Kunsan Tower. Check out where we are. Check gear down. And uh, Pro P is off. Landing tax lights not have those arms. Red alt. Off. While I'm here, I'll put that uh, all set off. Let's get the uh, chocks back. Python, one, one, copy. All right, that. Put the parking brake on. The uh, ejection seats safe. Send the uh, hood off. Nightmare, one two, Kun San Tower. Cleared for landing. Got that down. One eight, check gear down. Mac, one one, inbound for landing. And now, continue turning everything off. FCR off. And we'll start turning off the avionics. Cobra, one four, descend to. 3000, maintain 220 knots, turn right heading 355, vectors to final, runway 18. Nightmare, so the INS. descend to 2000, Off. maintain 400 knots, vectors to final, runway 18. CNI switch. Cobra, 13, descend to 3000. It's a backup. And to shoot the E engine down. Let's go back to 2D view. Where are we? And the air source. Switch that to off. Back to the 3D mode. To bring the uh, all these volumes back down. Com 1, Com 2, into Com down. And uh, throttles right down. And uh, let's have a look at the RPM. The RPM is 70. Now we're going to switch. Go back to this trigger on the throttle. I'll find it. And you can hear the engine spooling down. All the lights coming on. See the RPM dropping, 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 dropping. So we're going to look at uh, engine feed. And we're going to set that to off. Master light switch off 
and open the canopy. If I can find the right switch. If I can find the right part of the handle to click. There you go. It's always annoying trying to find the right thing on that. And where are we? Main power. Switch that to off. And that is it. As you can see, the aircraft is completely shut down. Everything's completely turned off. So there it is. That's uh, a little bit of an untidy flight. I had to uh, push my way in on the uh, for takeoff. I would probably still be there waiting in line to take off. But uh, ignoring that, I thought it was a pretty solid little flight. That is going to be the first tutorial of a bunch. I'm going to be doing uh, not all of them, but I think the next one's probably going to be instrument uh, landing. Um, the goal is to then go through the weapon stuff, yeah, to wear stuff. So it's fine. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> Somebody's here. Um, we're going to be going to. That's cool, I suppose. We're going to be going through the. Just ignore that. We're going to be going through the uh, air to wear air to ground weapon uh, lessons and uh, ultimately going to the campaign itself so anyway hope you enjoyed that the kind of unusual ending there um, but uh, like comment subscribe if you want to see more Falcon 4 um, until next time I shall see you again